This stunning 18th century Chinese porcelain vase was painstakingly created by enchanted mice potters. <coughs> Sorry, they just dusted me. The dragon vase is from the collection of Prince Thor of Hammerville, son of King Kong, and... Here we go again. You'd think after hearing this story for the 600th time, you'd get your facts straight. I'm just adding some flair to keep it interesting for the visitors. I mean, it's an installation about porcelain. Yawn. Are you kidding? This story has all the flair you could ask for. Obsession, greed, false imprisonment. Just tell the real story. Fine. But if everyone leaves or falls asleep, it's on you. Just start strong. Augustus the Strong. Meet Augustus the Strong, elector of Saxony and king in Poland. He is a man of enormous appetites. Food, women, gold, fine art, and above all else, power. For Augustus, porcelain embodies power. It is extremely rare in Europe and highly valued. In Augustus's case, even more than actual people. I will trade you these 600 soldiers for your 151 pieces of gorgeous porcelain. And I must have this dragon vase. Mm -hmm. At this time, only China could produce porcelain. For nearly 1,000 years, they've been perfecting all of the processes, from throwing to glazing to firing, to produce this translucent and durable ceramic. The delightful ding of perfection. The demand for Chinese porcelain, tea, and textiles in other countries opened new trade routes around the world. Europeans had been trying to uncover the secret of making porcelain for hundreds of years. But those fools just couldn't get it right. I mean, milk? Really? Augustus the Strong's obsession with porcelain consumes him and, uh, clouds his judgment. Meet Johann Friedrich Butker, a young alchemist who claims he can make gold from base metals. So a mad scientist, basically. Augustus decides that the next logical step in his quest for porcelain is imprisoning Butker and forcing him to make gold so he can buy more porcelain. Like you do. But Butker realizes that he can make something that Augustus values even more than gold. White gold. That's porcelain, in case you missed it. After a decade of toiling, Butker is successful and the mice and manufactory is founded, allowing Augustus to produce his own porcelain and feed his obsession. Even though this is the closest Europeans have come so far to making true porcelain, it still can't compete with the real thing from China. Really nice try, everyone. Augustus amassed a collection of more than 20,000 pieces of Asian porcelain, but all the porcelain in the world can't stop his decline into a sick shell of a man overcome by these passions. The European porcelain craze connected countries and cultures in positive and problematic ways and shaped the world we live in today, where anything we want is only a few clicks away. We have so much more stuff than ever before. Ooh. But how do we value it? Great job. Really? I thought the last show was better. But you were amazing as always. Oh, you're your own worst critic. Dust yourself off and get ready. The next group is headed our way. <laughs>